Hey guys, I'm at work today. It's Monday. Um, I'm really upset because I found out that I didn't reach the amount of hours I needed. Um, we're pretty sure because the whole thing is so confusing. So I thought I needed to get all my hours by June 30th, but turns out it was like June 23rd. So if I would have been able to do it by June 30th, I would have been over hours. But since I did June 23rd, I was like 13 hours under. You've got to be joking. Am I right? Anyways, so now I can't go to school in the fall. So I have to wait till the spring, which means I can't quit Starbucks until the spring. So that really sucks. So the only upside to it is that I will be making a lot of money because before I was just going to quit Starbucks and work at the studio until I figured out what I wanted to do. But now I'll be stuck at Starbucks, but at least I will be making like double, like a lot more than the amount of money that I would be making, like at least double probably, definitely more than double. Um, so yeah, that's good. I guess it's fine. It's not like I had like plans. I was it's not like I had like a job lined up or anything, but it does just like suck when like it just throws off your whole plans. Um, because now I'm gonna be in school for a whole extra year that I needed to just for three classes, which is just crazy, but whatever. Um, yeah, also it was so funny. I wanted to vlog about it, but we don't vlog on Sundays, but on Saturday night at like three in the morning. I literally just woke up and because I felt something touch me and I was sitting over at Maggie's and I literally was just screaming bloody murder like kicking my feet like trying to get out of the bed I was like move 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 I was freaking out and poor Maggie was like thought I was possessed turns out I literally just thought the the hamster got out and was on me because that's like my biggest fear when I sleep over is that the hamster is going to get out and get on top of me which I just convinced myself is what happened which it wasn't what happened I think Maggie just accidentally touched me but I literally thought it was the hamster so i was freaking out it's like pushing her off the bed my heart has never beat so fast i've never been so terrified like it was like pure terror i was screaming top of my lungs i'm so surprised Allison didn't wake up um so that was pretty funny um i wanted to vlog about it in the moment but i was too distraught and i couldn't sleep for the rest of the night because i was so stressed out that like i kept feeling things on me that weren't actually there so but yeah work today has been fine so far it's been pretty slow school goes back this week um so we're expecting it to start picking up again Plus, like, pumpkin's gonna come out in the next, like, two weeks or something. One of Maggie's hair is, like, is literally closed in my Stanley. That's crazy. Um, so, but yeah, as of right now, it's just really slow in there. So, it's not been very exciting, but at least it's not terrible. Oh! Alright, so time to unbox my hamster food. <laughs> I thought that maybe it was the new Supreme Carpenter perfume. No. Why'd you just, like, why? I don't know. It's just so. Because Maggie was talking about it and so how excited like, she was about it. About what? The, the Sabrina, new Sabrina Carpenter perfumes. But I think it's so yeah. funny that like that was the first thing she assumed I was. Well, yeah. I really want the new one. No, See? I'm unboxing the hamster. Because food. Maggie can't stop they talking sell, about it. They sell. I think like twice. They yeah. sell the pink one at Target. I mean Walmart. What? So hard to open. Wow! I've never seen Mickey Mouse goldfish. Oh yeah. That you scared really me because like I thought something scary was happening. Yeah, wow! It's blue. We have so many weird things in here. You can't do that. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I That's ordered food topic. for the hamsters from That's Robin's so Gourmet Food on Etsy. That's where I got the past stuff. This is the dwarf hamster mix, and then this is the Syrian mix. There's a lot of um this stuff in there. So. Imagine I put sugar had some What would you do? Huh? <laughs> About you put that over my hand, suffocating me? Yeah, what would you do? I would be really sad. Yeah, I'd be sad too. Um, it came on perfect day because today we are going to be cleaning Remy's cage because she made a disaster in there. Um, and so today's like the first day we have where we like can sit down and really do it. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of ingredients on here. It does say if your hamster becomes picky, eat or don't give them more food until their food is gone. What? It says if, you're, if your hamster becomes a picky eater, don't give more food until their food is gone. And Darcy is the most picky eater ever. She literally will only eat seeds. So I guess we should probably, I guess that's that's right. That's on us. That is on us. Um, but yeah, Remy's Cage is like the first on the to-do list. It's kind of a lot to do them both on the same day, so we haven't done that. But... Well, last time we did them both on the same day, but it was just, it was, it was terrifying. Like the worst of like eight hours. Um, but I feel like if once we get 
Remy's cage and we're gonna do Darcy's really soon too like obviously I'm not we're not gonna just like, neglect her cage because we did them both at the same time like a month ago um and I'll go in here and there and like add sprays or like, clean things up or like replace our substrates and whatever but like we haven't like I know that like they both pee and store food in like the same spots so we just go in there and just do like a quick little clean out rearranging and hopefully it doesn't take us forever because I actually have a mental breakdown every single time. This sucks. This sucks. But it's time to lock in. Let's go. Ashley's taking up shuffling so that when she goes to the Pitbull concert, she doesn't feel embarrassed for going just for fun. So now she has a trick to do when she's there. Like, what a weird thing. <laughs> well, like, that's just such an Ashley thing to even, like, do. And she's, like, genuinely practicing. It's hard to go on carpet, also. Wait, you're Wait. getting kind of good. No, that's going to be really good. I can't wait to see what you practice more. <laughs> this is your practice already. Like, you can only do it twice. <laughs> Okay. Like, that was pretty good. Why is this just hilarious that this is like she just said it'd become embarrassing just to go for fun? So I started taking up this new trick. Like, what if. Yeah. Imagine just like dancing like a normal person at Pitbull. Like, guys, watch me. <laughs> Who are you gonna go with? Um, Cameron. <laughs> So impressive. Alright. Okay. My big turn to do the cage while she sits and watches. I get to do the fun part though, so. I recall the times you said you're sorry. But still, I'm not sure if you told lies. But I don't care, it's all forgotten now. We're holy when we touch and It was a three hour event, but we got it done. Well, I got here like before five, didn't I? I mean, it was probably more like a two, two and a half hour event, but I think she liked it. She was sort of chirping, which we've never heard her do. So I Googled it and it was like, it could be either from like excitement or from stress and, or like anxiety and fear or whatever. And I said, hopefully she's excited. I was like, hopefully she's excited because it'd be so As I've been trying to say for 30 minutes, hopefully she was excited and not anxious about it. Like scared. Um, I don't know if she'd be so scared of just exploring a new house. So we're hoping that she was just excited. And then she went straight to burrowing and making a disaster. Like literally within like, Two minutes of us putting in her in there she makes her cage such a mess and we're gonna do darcy's soon as well darcy's not nearly as messy so her cage is like pretty much looks exactly like it did when we first set it up she just like her sprays are some of them fell over or whatever but i do like to rearrange for her as well and she just pees in like basically the same spot so we just need to go in and like take all of that out but she doesn't hoard food as much or pee everywhere everywhere as much so Darcy is our dream, like, is a dream. She's the dream hamster. She is what everybody wishes for when they get into hamster care. Um, and she's so precious and sweet, and she lets us, like, pet her and stuff. Like, she's not skittish or anything. She's great. But now we're going to get Chipotle. Um, it's, like, going on 8 o'clock. I literally thought I was going to, like, throw up and pass out at one point because of how hungry I was getting. So I'm excited to eat. Probably watch the 100 for, like, That was like the, the most like smooth sailing hamster cage experience we've had. Like not because it was like, it, it still took forever, but you know, normally like one of us gets really angry or like fed up and it's just difficult, but it worked out pretty well this time actually. So glad about that. You know, I can just not worry about it for several more weeks. Woohoo! She 
is scarfing everything down in her little cheek pouches. <laughs> Look at her little hands. She's already like destroyed everything in here, so. She's gonna put all the food. She's probably wanting the same thing. Alright, time to find a good spot. <laughs> oh, she's stocking up on more seats. Mm -hmm. She's gonna have no sprays left by the end of the day. She's crazy. She shoved one of the whole flowers in her mouth, too. Mm. She doesn't even barely touch her food. Yet she's stocking up on all the sprays. She's so cute though. But yeah, she kind of made a disaster in here ever so slightly, but it was to be expected. <laughs> she is going to town. Oops. She's a genius. She is literally gonna drag it into the burrow with her. She's so determined. She almost had it. I want her to get hurt or like stuck because it's blocking her way. I mean, she's smart. She's, she's really smart. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. How'd she get that big corn all the way down here? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way she just got the corn in the burrow. That's crazy. She just resurfaced without the corn. I mean, she really just like dragged it the whole way down the burrow, planted it, and came back. I can't believe she was able to do that. I really did not think she was going to do it. Didn't have anything to say about it. No. She is one tough cookie. She's looking around for another thing. Well, she I don't know why she, she hasn't gone to her food yet. Yeah, she's like just like restocking up her pile because we just took all her old food out. So now she's like, okay, let me go find more. I've quite honestly never been this tired in my life. I don't know why, but last night I just... <sighs> I could not fall asleep, like, at all. And it was so weird, because I felt like I was, like... My body was sleeping, but my brain was not sleeping. Like, for the first, like, two hours trying to fall asleep. So I didn't fall asleep until, like, two, probably. I woke up at five. Um, but Piper woke me up. I finally, like, fell asleep around, like, 12.30 or something. Like, kind of. Not even. Like, I was just, like, relaxed. And it was, like, so weird. Like, I kept saying, like, I feel like my brain is, like, my body sleeping. And I felt so... It was the weirdest feeling of, like... I don't know. Everything just felt so weird. And, like, my room just felt weird and, like, different. And I don't know. Um, but I, um... I woke me up by, like, 12.30. And then it was, like, almost 1 o'clock by the time that I got back in bed. And then I know it took me a while to fall back asleep after that, too. I just could not. The life of me fall asleep, I think I've only slept like two hours. Probably like three hours, actually. But I'm so tired. Like, oh my god. I'm like staying there. I'm like, I could, if I close my eyes and I would literally just fall asleep. So I'm really glad today is the day that I get off at 10 30. Really nice, because typically I'm here. It's like 11 30. Um, 11, 11 30. But today I got off at 10 30. I came in at 6. And it's already eight o'clock so only two and a half more hours to go um it's just like it feels really weird in there today too i feel like the people that are in there it's a really weird combination of people i'm not used to working with oh like i i used to work oh my god i'm used to working with everybody who's working i just like all together like we're not we don't all work at the same time literally ever i'm also wearing dirty jeans i didn't even realize how much coffee were spilled all over these jeans just check this out there's like all that and then all of this in more here. Um, so I'm really embarrassed about that. I didn't realize it was that bad. Um, and tonight is we're not we were gonna go to another Tuesday, but then everyone like started going wanting to go to karaoke tomorrow instead or something. I don't know. Um, and me and Maggie were like, doesn't matter. We're not going to karaoke. We we're not doing that. Um. So it's been like a whole debate because Ashley doesn't want to, like, so wants to hang out with us. So she's like, I don't even want to go to karaoke. Or she's like, I'd rather go to our Tuesday with you guys than go to karaoke without you guys. She doesn't want to go out twice in a week or whatever. I don't know. 
But I think we're just gonna hang out at the house tonight. Because Maggie's coworker is coming over. Because she was gonna come to Dollar Tuesday, but then everyone decided they didn't even want to go to Dollar Tuesday anymore for some reason. So we said, oh. So I think everyone's just gonna hang out at the house or something. I don't know. Morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, I did not vlog at all yesterday because I actually found out that someone who I thought was my one of my best friends. Um, is actually just a psychopath and a liar um, in an extreme way. And I, I literally could tell like a 30 minute long story time breaking down all the details of this to you guys. But I'm not gonna do that um, right now. This is just honestly the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. And I literally felt like I was like Love Quinn and like being stalked by Joe Goldberg or something. Like I felt like I was in you. I felt like I was in the middle of a true crime podcast, finding all of this information out yesterday. Never ever would have seen it coming. Basically, long, long, long story short, um, I've been friends with this guy for years. Like we used to work together when I worked at that dog daycare and we've been friends ever since. He moved to Georgia a couple of years ago, but like we still talk like with text like pretty much every day. Like I talk to him all the time. Um, genuinely considered him like one of my very good friends. Oh, oh God. That, that stupid dumbass almost just got hit by a fire truck. Okay, anyway, sorry. I'm gonna make up fake names for these people because I don't wanna like, but let's just call this guy Jerry. And then he, we used to work with this girl, um, Samantha, and he lives in Georgia now and currently works with this girl, Claire. And he's been for months now telling me about how him and Claire are like hooking up and like whatever, like they're like a thing, they're like friends with benefits basically. He's like told me like, all of these like very detailed extreme stories about Claire and um so yesterday morning Claire found me on Instagram and DM'd me and asked me if I knew Jerry and how I knew him and then said also don't tell him I'm asking you this because I'm concerned for your safety and I was like oh why are you concerned for my safety? I was like, what the fuck? So I, 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 mind you, I have never met Claire. I've never spoken to Claire. I don't know Claire. She lives in Georgia. Like I, and so I um, responded to her and I was like, yeah, I do know him. Like we're friends, like why? And um, he apparently has just been telling his coworkers for months now that him and I are married have been married for 11 years um that we've been trying to have a baby but that i keep having miscarriages and that we breed and raise huskies together um none of this is even a little bit true as you all know so then i was like oh i was like no no none of that is even kind of true and i was like but crazy that he's telling you that because he's been telling me that you two are hooking up and she was like oh no, 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 that's not even a little bit true either. Then I was like, girl, I was like, he's been sending me like pictures and videos of you and like telling me all these stories about you. And she was like, what? And so I like sent her screenshots of like the text that he sent me about her and like pictures and videos he sent me of her. And she was like, oh my God. And I was like, yeah, like, I don't know why you're scared for me and my safety. I'm scared for you and your safety. And then the more we talked about it, she was sending me screenshots of things he said about me and these huskies that we breed and raise together and I'm looking at the pictures of these huskies and husky puppies that he's been sending her claiming were mine and his and they weren't mine and his they um belonged to a girl that we used to work with who is one of his like who's like his longest friend he's been friends with this girl Samantha for years like over a decade and she breeds and raises huskies and these huskies that he was claiming were mine and his actually are samantha's like her huskies and her puppies he's been sending pictures of them to claire and claiming they were mine and his but then i was like to claire i was like well has he ever 
mentioned Samantha to you? And he was like, she was like, no. So then I'm telling him, her, like, the lowdown on Samantha because Jerry and Samantha have a very complicated history, or so I thought, based off the stories that Jerry has been telling me, except clearly I can't trust any of these stories. Um, and so I'm, like, telling him, her all of this, and she's like, oh, God. And I'm like, should we be worried about Samantha as well? Because Jerry is in Florida right now with Samantha to buy one of said puppies, but he told his co-workers he was in Florida with me selling said puppies so I'm like do, are, should we tell Samantha like this is like like he's with her right now like he's buying one of her puppies and so then we agreed like yeah we should tell her so I'm not friends with Samantha like we used to work together but and I have her phone number because we used to be co-workers but, like I've never been friends with her and but I just texted her and I was like hey like this is gonna sound really really weird but um Jerry has just made up a whole entire life story about me and telling his co-workers that we're married um and his co one of his co-workers found me on Instagram and is like telling me this but I'm telling you because he's been claiming that your dogs are our dogs and I just think you should know because you're like literally selling him one of your dogs as we speak and he's like being really fucking weird so I don't know that you should sell him this dog and then she was like wait is this co-worker Claire and I was like yeah and he's like he told me he's been telling me about Claire and how they're like hooking up and they're like a thing and I'm like yeah he's been telling me that too but it's not true and she was like really but he's been sending me pictures and videos of her and I was like girl same he's been sending me pictures and videos of her so I just believed him but turns out she had no idea those pictures and videos were being taken and so anyway I told you I was gonna tell this long story very short but this has not been very short but there's so much more that that goes into it that it, it's such a I don't even anyway the conclusion of the story is that Claire um Samantha and I sent Claire all of the screenshots and conversations that Jerry has had with us about Claire and all the pictures and videos he has sent us of Claire. We sent them all to her and she reported him to HR. And so hopefully he will lose his job because that's fucking creepy and horrible and weird. And then I blocked him on everything immediately because I'm scared because why is he telling people that we're married and that I'm having a lot of miscarriages? that's just a really weird lie to make up about a person um so I'm scared so I blocked him on everything and then Samantha who was literally with him at the time uh showed him all of the texts that I had sent her and all of the texts that Claire had sent her regarding the situation called him out on it did not sell him the puppy because he does not need to have one of her puppies and completely cut ties with him because he made such major accusations about all three of us he told Samantha that, no, yeah, he told Samantha that I was hooking up with him, but I am dating Tito and have been dating Tito the entire time I've known this guy. So he accused me of cheating on my boyfriend, but then he told me that Samantha had tried to kiss him. Samantha's married, so he accused Samantha of trying to cheat on her husband, and then he accused Claire of um, forcing him to have unprotected sex with her. So then he basically accused Claire of raping him. I'm like, you cannot. He just made major accusations about the three of us. And then like, depending on who he was talking to, like he just literally, I genuinely do, I am not even making this up. Like this literally is what my day was yesterday. All day long, just texting with Claire and Samantha. And the more we talked, the more lies just came to the surface. Guys, he wears a wedding ring to work and has been telling his coworkers I'm married to him. And he has pictures and videos of me that he shows them and that he switches out his lock screen to a new picture of me all the time. I'm like, where are you even getting these pictures of me? Off my social medias? Like, what are you doing? I'm not like sending him pictures of myself. Like, what is happening? What is happening? Anyway. <laughs> I literally just, I, I, I genuinely didn't even know what to say. Like, I te was texting Tito, and I was like, I'm so confused right now. I was, like, shaking. I was like, this is the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. I literally, I'm like, I never would have thought this would happen. I never, like, I never saw this coming. 
Um, so that's how my week started out. I literally, like, I mean, this is the makings of a serial killer. I think, like, that's scary. That is scary. I cannot believe that this real life is, like, happened. Like, that is so crazy. The most bizarre thing. But anyway, yeah, so now it's Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was just, honestly, just, I, I in disbelief. And the entire day, I couldn't even do anything except be just in disbelief. So now it's Tuesday. It's um, eight o'clock in the morning. I'm headed to work. I left my house way too early to get to work, and now I'm gonna get to work so early. But it's okay because honestly, we have a really busy schedule today, and I'm really not looking forward to going to work at all. Um, it's, it's really just not gonna be good at all. But it's okay because tomorrow I'm off, and then Thursday and Friday, my boss is out of town because she is taking her daughter to college. So I just get to go to work and be there by myself and not have to do like a bunch of annoying stuff. So that's gonna be great. So that's the rest of my week. But yeah, I had to just come on here and tell you guys this story because I mean, it's just crazy. That's the craziest thing that's happened to me in my life so far. What about- Hey guys, I'm about to do my makeup because we are going to the bar a really weird situation this week because nobody wanted to go to the bar but maggie already invited her friend so i was like well i guess we're going to the bar um oh interesting i don't know which one's my newer one but i do have a feeling that the one i've been using is the old one because i can't get it the wand back in you know how it gets and it's i'm guessing this is the makeup i'm working with which what the hell happened to my concealer whoa what happened how did, how did it bend like that? Anyways. My head kind of hurts. But, yeah, we're, so me and Maggie and her friend are going to the bar for $2 Tuesday. And then Ashley's going to meet us there. And I'm assuming Cameron's going to meet us there with her. But I have an idea to try to convince Allison to come to the bar with us before she has to go to work. But I don't know if it's going to work. Then we're gonna come back here and hang out, and then that's the night. So hopefully it's like fun. Show your outfit. She says it was wearing. I told her, and then I show up and this is what she's wearing. She doesn't see me so bad. I was already probably gonna wear this. Mhm. Mm show me this or my pink and green. So but when I told you that I had the green, green, you said perfect and a match. Well, maybe I just am in love. You ever think about that? No. Nope. Never crossed my mind. Nerd. When you seem too far away And you can blame it all on me As long as we can find our way Do you remember all the times we tried to I convinced Allison, actually didn't take any convincing But she liked my idea of her coming with us So now we're meeting Hannah, which is Maggie's co-worker Well, is she still your co-worker? Well, she, they were co-workers, but now they're friends um, there and Ashley's meeting us there too because she actually oh. got done a lot sooner than she thought. The vlog. Yeah. Hey vlog. Hey vlog. So it's really exciting stuff. I'm really pumped. Now it's so much less stressful. Woohoo! <laughs> Good choice. Right. What's Maggie's? All we ever do is talk? Yeah, that's a good one. Any of, honestly, like any of the top ones. Glitter and honey. We never do that one. I love that. Is <laughs> really loud. Yeah, I know. Okay, show show the fit. Everyone, because like she's so freaking cute. So precious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. One of the bartenders bought the shop. Not sure why. I don't know who that guy is. Just because he bought the shop. Oh. Mm. 
Okay, I'm recording, so you have to stomp on it. Oh, I don't want to. Oh, you... I will. Okay. I kind of want to. Okay. In your socks? Oh, okay, God. Ashley. Old? Is that him? Yeah. Don't oh, do it in your oh, socks. Oh, Wait, what is he? I don't know. It's scary. He's just a little guy. Wait. Why would should you say that? Okay, Jalen, you're going to scream. Why would you say that? <laughs> I got scared just t seeing my finger close to him in the mirror. Wait, I don't want to touch him wait, anymore. No, this is, wait, can I say something? I'm still a believer, but I don't know why. I've never been a natural. All I do is try, try, try. Because I'm a mirror ball. I'm a mirror ball. on to my 
to like what I was doing and like all of a sudden started freaking out like she let me do it the first couple times like put the um drops in it but then like stopped letting me do that she won't let me get a muzzle on her um to do anything to her so I can't do that I don't know how they're going to do that at the vet today because they're gonna have to because otherwise she's gonna try to bite them um but I need them to look at her ear because her it like kind of did go away on its own it, but then and now it's coming back I would like it cleaned out and treated if possible but I can't do it at home because I can't get a muzzle on her so I'm hoping they will be able to do like apply it clean it and apply some kind of one-time treatment to it today maybe um, she also needs her dew claws cut because she the way she walks I think she wears down like grinds down her the rest of her nails thank god because otherwise they would be so fucking long because I can't cut her nails but her dew claws obviously do not touch the ground when she walks so her dew claws are really long so she needs her dew claws cut um and then I also can't brush her teeth because she tries to bite me when I try to brush her teeth so her teeth are getting a pretty significant amount of tartar on them and it's nothing like horrible but it's definitely for the fact that she's only three it's a pretty significant amount and I want to talk to him about having a dental done on her because I would rather just have a dental done and have him clean her teeth now when I don't think it's bad enough that she would need any extractions or anything than wait a few years when they're really really bad and then she needs all her teeth pulled and that's going to cost me way more money and she's not going to have any teeth and like like so I'm like just coming to terms with the fact that I'm going to have to just pay a thousand dollars to have her teeth professionally cleaned every year or every couple of years because she won't let me brush her teeth. Luna's teeth are beautiful because Luna lets me brush her teeth, but Phoebe doesn't let me do anything. So I basically just have like a whole list of things I want to talk to him about. That is, that is my, uh, that's, that's what's going on with me right now. I have to take my dog to the vet and it's going to be a horrible experience. So I will uh, update you guys when we get out of the vet with how that went. Hopefully I'm hoping, pray, praying to God, she just lets them put a muzzle on her and I think it'll be okay from there. But if we can't get a muzzle on her, they're probably gonna have to just send me home and I don't think anything's gonna get accomplished because she is just such a little shit. Anyway, later today, I need to go to Target really, really badly because I am out of false, like everything. And I'm completely out of conditioner, which like is not ideal. Like I cannot do my hair without conditioner. So I have to go to Target today because um, I just need some stuff and then I also really want to take my dogs to the park today because we have not gone you, we, for a while that we were going like every single Wednesday, but the last several weeks, like over a month now, I have not taken them because I've just been busy. I've just had stuff going on and it's also been like miserably hot. But today the high is only 84, which is really nice. Um, like I'm literally wearing leggings right now because it's like 75 degrees. It's so nice. But so I think, so I want to take them today. So I'm trying to figure out like, when I should take them and then when I should get to Target, like trying to figure out the best route and order to do that in. Um, but I guess we'll see how I feel after after this vet appointment. If Phoebe is horrible, then I might not I might need a break from her before I can take her to the park. <laughs> so but yeah, I will keep it as updated. Are you going to behave yourself, little dog? See how she's like the sweetest fucking dog, but you like people who've never seen it would not even believe me that she literally like she becomes rabid like she's horrible when oh that was an alarming noise she's horrible when you try to do anything to her that she doesn't want done which is anything that you try to do to her ever so we will see how this goes a little stressed but here we are so i will update you guys when we leave here It is so much it's 1240 I have never been at this vet for that long of a time in my life usually I'm like in and out of here in like 20 minutes max 30 um but they I don't know what they were doing they must have had some like hold up because they didn't get in to actually see her until almost an hour after her appointment was supposed to start and then we were in the appointment for another almost hour. We were actually probably in that appointment for like an hour because she's such a pain in the ass and I had so many concerns. So um, an hour and a half, almost two hours, $178 and a double ear yeast infection. Later, we are on our way back home. She, I knew she had a yeast infection. I thought it was only in one ear though and she has it in both ears. So we got some medicine to treat that, but she was, 
really, really, really good. Um, I think the trazodone I gave her did really help this morning because she was much better than she's ever been in the past at the vet. Um, so that was good. Definitely going to be doing that from now on. Um, <clears throat> they were able to get a muzzle on her. She And then once they put the muzzle on her, she literally didn't even try to fight. She just let them do what they needed to do. I am never going to be able to get out of this fucking parking lot. Oh my god. There's so much traffic coming from both directions. Um, but yeah, she was, you okay, Phoebe? She was really good. So I'm pretty pleased with that. We do have to go back in two weeks because she has to have her ears rechecked in two weeks. I'm also going to schedule a dental for her because her vet agreed with me that they're not horrible. Her teeth are not horrible, but definitely a good idea to just do it now before they get horrible. So going to schedule that but their dental equipment is broken at the moment so he said that once they get it fixed which they're hoping to get fixed this week that they will call me so we can get that scheduled so love that great time now it's almost one o'clock I cannot believe how much of my day that took um but I'm gonna go home and I think Phoebe needs to take a nap so I'm gonna take her home drop her off maybe grab something to eat if I can find something to eat but we don't really have very much food in my house at all right now so we'll see how that goes um, and then go to Target. And then when I'm done at Target, I'm going to come back, get the dogs, and go to the park. <laughs> that's the plan. So, yeah. But that's your updates. Literally spending money today like I'm made of it. But um, I just got out of Target. And I accidentally put it on my Discover card instead of on my check card. So that was dumb. But it's fine. Anyway, I'm going to do a little Target haul for you guys. I had a bunch of stuff I needed to restock on and then some other stuff I just bought because I was at Target and so I uh, needed shampoo and conditioner. I'm literally out of both shampoo and conditioner and I'm going back to my roots and doing Pantene. I for years now have been doing either like black girl or mixed girl hair products or I've used Aussie Miracle Curls um, recently but I don't feel like any of it's doing my hair any favors. Like I don't feel like any of it's like hurting my hair but I definitely don't think it's like improving it at all and that shit is expensive and then I was literally watching one of my old videos like one of our old YouTube videos and I was doing my curly hair routine or it was a night routine or something I don't remember but in the video I was using Pantene and my hair years ago when I was in like high school in middle school and high school looked so much better like my curly hair looked so much better than it does now and so I was like maybe I'm just spending a shit ton of money on these fancy ass shampoo and conditioners for no reason. So I'm going back to Pantene. I decided to do the moisture renewal. This is like the hydrating one. I couldn't decide between this one or like the frizz control one. But we're just going to try this one and we're going to see how it goes. So this was a box with shampoo and the shampoo and the conditioner for $10. I'm like, if anything, I don't think it's going to make my hair look any worse, to be honest. So. We're gonna go with it. I also got another mascara because I swear I fly through mascara. It's the one makeup that I wear every single day. And I use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. And then I was also out of body wash. So I just picked up a native body wash in Cotton and Lily. And it smells like laundry detergent, which is my favorite kind of scent. So love that. Um, also had to get Q-tips because I was out of those. And then also needed more hair gel. I use Aunt Jackie's. Um, don't shrink elongating curling gel to smooth my hair back and also I put it in my hair when I wear my hair down which is very infrequently but and then the stuff I got that I definitely didn't need to get but got anyway I got a bag of twin snakes I can't stop eating these recently like I literally I'm addicted I love them right now um so I got those just to have and then I also got some gum to have in my car because I've been out of gum for a really long time and I all the time like go to get a piece of gum and then remember I don't have any and I just keep forgetting to buy some so I've got that. And then I also got a book. I got The Castaways by Ellen Holderbrand. I was had a goal this summer. I kept calling it my summer of romance and I was only reading summery romance novels this whole summer um, and I wanted to read one more of Ellen Hildebrand's books because her books are like they're not really romance but they are definitely like summer vibes because they all take place in like Nantucket um and I wanted to read one more of her books before summer was over so this is probably gonna be my last book and my summer of romance novels and then I have 
and then I'm gonna go into fall and I have a couple of Jodi Pico books that I know are gonna be really sad. My Sister's Keeper and The Pack are the two I have right now that I need to read and they're gonna be really sad and not at all fun summer books. So it's gonna be my last my last book in my summer my summer series. So I got that. I love Ellen Hildebrand's book. She's probably my second favorite author. Jody, I think Jodi Pico is my favorite author, but Ellen Hildebrand is definitely a very close second. And then I was looking at their clothes and they just had a bunch of like their basics, like tank tops and shirts and stuff on sale. So I just got a few things because I just feel like I never have like tops. Like I just feel like I don't have any shirts. I end up wearing like graphic t-shirts, like either the, like Outer bank shirts or like my old concert t-shirts like all the time. Like I never have any just like plain tops. So I got two tank tops. I got this one and then I also got it in this color because I'm also like all of my tank tops and stuff well, literally like all my tank tops are cropped and I'm just kind of over cropped. Like, sometimes it's the vibe, but sometimes I just want a full-length shirt. Like, I'm 26, you know? Like, I feel like... So, I got a couple of those just to have, like, full-length shirts. I also feel like these will be good to wear, like, under things this fall. Um, so I got those. And then I also got this t-shirt, which is just a long sleeve t-shirt. Because I really don't have any long sleeve shirts at all. Like, I have a bunch of sweaters, but I don't have just, like, long sleeve shirts. So this is just a brown long sleeve, like, ribbed t-shirt. I feel like it's just a really good fall basic can wear it under stuff, can wear it by itself, wear it with a pair of jeans, wear it under my puffer vest, you know, we got options here. So I just got those couple of clothes, but they have so much cute stuff out for fall right now. Like so many cute sweaters, cardigans, like so much stuff. I was having to like really control myself because I wanted to just buy a bunch of stuff, but I really did not need to be buying a bunch of stuff. So anyway, that's my little Target haul. I'm gonna go back home now, it's 2.15, get my dogs, and then take them to the park. I feel like all I've done today is just drive from place to place to place, but you know, it's fine. We're gonna go have a little walk in the park and then be home for the rest of the evening, so, or the rest of the day, it's only 2.15, so, yeah, Hey guys, at work. Bro, I literally look tired. I didn't fall asleep until like 11 or something, and I woke up at 4, 4.30. But I couldn't stop watching Unexpected last night, so I just wouldn't go to bed. And I hate wearing my hair because I have like two buns. And... I just hate wearing it like this because it just looks stupid. But sometimes you just gotta do like my. I wish you could have seen the state of my hair when I woke up. I didn't vlog about it because I was like literally struggling to get ready. But it was so curly and so like pressed into my head because like I was sleeping in my bonnet, obviously. So I could not get it. I had to wear it in two buns. Like, I was not gonna be able to get it into one bun. It was like it was rough. So I sat there and tried to do my hair for like ten minutes. Just spraying it brushing it spraying it brushing it it was disastrous but now i'm at work um it's kind of boring i'm really tired i'm off until 11 but it's like nine o'clock now so two more hours very long shift not very long shift it feels like forever because 5 30 to 11 feels like so long so she goes i'm so tired and like it was dark when i got here and everything and i feel like i should be off by now but this is because yesterday too i got off at 10 30 or i mean on tuesday i got off at 10 30 so when I came in at 6. Anyways. I didn't vlog yesterday because I just went to dance. Um, for three hours. Did three privates. It was really fun. Tonight is my last night of dance until the fall session starts. Which is so crazy. Um, and I don't, I'm not doing a private. But I have three classes that I teach. And then I'm actually doing two more privates on Friday. And then I'm done with dance for the next few weeks. Which is pretty exciting. But yeah. Okay, I bought twin snakes at Target yesterday, so I brought them to work with me, but then I left them in my car on accident for the first, like, four hours that I was here, and so I just went out to get them, and they were all melted, so I put them in the fridge, but, like, now it's just one big melted thing. That's so disappointing. How am I even supposed to eat this? That sucks. Anyway, I've been having a really chill day at work because no one's here. Um, did I even vlog this morning? I don't even remember. 
but my doctor's not here. She's moving her daughter into college. So I'm just here to like answer the phone for pickups, things like that. And I actually was really busy for like the first four hours. Um, but now I have nothing else going on. I am waiting on one person to come in so I can put ear meds in their dog's ear. But other than that, nothing's happening. So taking advantage of my time, of my downtime to edit this week's vlog so that I can hopefully get that up for you guys today. Um, because yesterday I was in a really bad mood and editing the vlog was going to not make me feel any better. So instead I had to go spend a bunch of money at Target. So anyway, yeah, that's the update, but really bummed about my twin snakes. <laughs> it's 3.30 now and I just finished editing the vlog. I have nothing else happening here for the rest of the day. I'm here for another hour and a half. So I brought my book. Bookshop, the Bookshop by the Bay by Pamela Kelly. I'm 100 pages in. I do not like it, but I don't DNF books ever. So I'm going to force myself to finish it. So it's probably what I'm gonna do for the next hour and a half um, in between answering the phone because the phone has been ringing nonstop today. So, but that's fine. That's why I'm here. That's what I'm doing. So anyway, we pause this really, really random version of West Virginia by MGK and Jelly Roll. It's very random. Anyway, I'm gonna go read. Hey guys, it is going on three. I'm about to leave because I'm gonna go to Maggie's house. And I would just like to say, Allison texted me earlier and was like, dance on Wednesdays and Thursdays question mark? And I said, yep. And she said, oh boo. But I was like, funny, because that you said that because I just texted Maggie saying I kinda wanna come over for a bit today. And she was like, oh, okay. I was like, yeah, it's like the last you could answer. She's like, oh, why? It's like summer classes. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay. So then I texted her. I said, yeah, I'm going to come over on three. So I might see ya. No acknowledgement to that. So why'd you text me then? So comment below what you guys think. Because weird thing to do. Why'd you text me acting as though you wanted to see me and hang out? And then when I said I'm going to be around, it's like, oh. Like, did you not text me? But, yeah, I got my really lemon outfit on for dance tonight. I cleaned up my room, finally. It's been, like, so long since I've been saying I need to clean my room, so I finally did that. If you want to take a little peek, see. Check it out. I like, still have, like, a bunch of dishes and two baskets of clothes to put away. And my bed's not made, but, like, everything else is clean, so I'm about to take the dishes down for me when I go downstairs and then um yeah and I'm gonna go hang out at Maggie's for a few hours like a couple hours because I have to leave for dance a little before 5 30 to get there at 6 and then I'm there from 6 to 9 so I took a really long nap today I took an hour nap and I woke up and I felt so great like just so happy so I'm in a good mood I think it's gonna be a good day because 
I'm supposed to be doing two solo privates, but one of them just canceled on me, which is really awkward. So, I can't go in. Um, now I just have one. I texted one of my other students asking if she wants to come in last minute. Um, just because, like, since I'm already going to be there, I'd rather be there for like, more than an hour. Because, like, if I'm there for an hour, it's basically the amount of time that I spent driving. Actually, less than the amount of time I spent driving to get there. Um, but she literally just texted me, like, as I was about to leave the house that she was canceling. So I said, uh, oh. I still have to go because there was another girl I meet mean, with as well. So we'll see how that plays out. But then me and Maddie are going to go to Maggie's house um, because she's having a couple of her coworkers over. So she wanted us to come. And one of her coworkers we've been hanging out with, well, we've hung out with a couple times. I really like her. And then one of them is my coworker now, used to be her coworker, also Maggie's best friend. So I know her. And then there's like two other girls I don't know at all. And then Ash is going to be there. Cameron's probably going to be there. So I was like, well, we're not really doing anything in my house. We might as well go. But I'm kind of stressed out about it because I hope it's not really awkward or like not that much fun. Because you know, sometimes it's like just not that much fun. Um, and then you're kind of like, should just stay at home. So I don't really know how I feel about it. Um, also, Andrew's like literally at home. And I, what I say to that is, fuck you. Because he acted like he was going to be like straight from Ohio. And he was going to go straight to school. And now he's at his house. I said, so what are you doing today? Like, do you want to come hang out with us? And he said, well, how about we do it with my family and packing? And then there's talks of going to the fair. Okay, so you hate us? The bug? Um, he did, in fact, invite me to the fair, but I don't want to do that. So that's that's the plan. I'm not super pumped about anything right now at all, actually. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And I went to Starbucks, and I got a Mellon Burst Energy because I love those things for some reason. Um... Yeah, I'm really upset because Allison's not going to be there tonight. She's going to her her friend's house. And I'm just like, that's really upsetting because I feel like if Ashley and Allison were going to be there, I feel like more like the client to really want to go because then it's like, oh, well, at least like I have two people that are like my friends and like whatever. But no. But I mean, Ashley's enough to make me feel comfortable with going. It's just like if they were both there, then I feel like I would know for a fact I would have more fun, you know, because like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But, yeah, time to go to dance. Not really looking forward to it, to be honest. Like, not, like, not looking forward to it, but I'm not, like, pumped about it. Because it's just, like, an hour. It'll be really quick. And we're just going to do choreo today, so. Should be pretty good, though. And maybe we'll get to finish our dance. Because I've been on a roll. I've been finishing all of my soloist choreography into practices, which is really good. And I have a lot of them. Like, half of them are done, so. Hopefully we can get hers done, too. That'd be pretty awesome, but... UPS has me so fucked up right now. It is Friday. It is 4.59. I have done nothing. Well, that's not true. I actually have done a lot of things today. But for the last like three hours, I have had nothing going on. I've been sitting here bored out of my mind trying to finish this book that's making me just even more bored than I am just sitting here. And right now at five o'clock when I was just getting ready to clock out and go home, what happens? UPS shows up with all <laughs> with all of those fucking packages. Couldn't have done that three hours ago when I had nothing better to do but unbox things. Now <laughs> unbox. What's this one? That is a lot of fucking packages. I'm sitting here like, I do all the ordering for the clinic. I'm like, what did I even order? I didn't even know I ordered that much stuff. So mad right now. Anyway, I'm gonna do a little time lapse of me unpackaging everything, cause why not? I ordered more Odamax, which is an ear medication. Um, I thought I was ordering five, but apparently, oh my God, apparently I was ordering five packs of 12.
Um, but we're not going to be running out of this anytime soon. <laughs> three minutes and a whole lot of Odamax later and I got all of that packaged and put away. I'm not updating our inventory today though. I will be doing that on Monday. Anyway, going home now. She says she feels oh, like a little kid trying to play the snow and her mom is like trying to zip her. Right, Come on, mom. Oh, it's too tight. Oh, sorry, I'll listen to well, you know, dance school. Dance school? Dance school? Oh, I heard dance school. I, I thought that I just, like, just everyone to school. He's like, how about at dance school? I did go to school. She's like, thanks, mom. <laughs> Anyways, I, let's go. I don't know about let's that. get out. We got the Hermali. They're right. Chicken tender. Sorry. They were like the whole piece of chicken breast, you know. I think it's vlogged like it was like an hour. Say hi. Rating your Airbnb right now? <laughs> yeah. He's rating the Airbnb. Why? Oh, you just Wait, you get it. I forgot to do it earlier today. Oh, I thought he was yeah. renting You don't have house. to do it, it's not Is like it a ball. Easy to get inside. Yeah, I was giving it a five. <laughs> it was nice. good. It was really nice. That's it was like close to the bayside, short walk to the beach, sunset.